Hey guys, next video is on the jig blocks. Um, pretty simple. These are old. Uh, they're half inch thick. A lot of guys use three quarter. I had half inch laying around, so I used it. I kind of regret it. Uh, I'm still going forward with it, but three quarter is smarter because you, when you lay these jig blocks down, you want to raise up the tubing. So when, when you do weld the joint, you can put some metal underneath it and protect the wood, but uh, I got kind of a game plan going, so I'm going to stick with the half inch. Regardless, um, they're about one inch wide. I have different lengths, um, three inch, six inch, one inch. You know, sometimes you're better off putting a long one in instead of two on each side, total of four. It's just a lot of work, and there's no point in doing it. A long one right here is kind of a nice thing because then you, you can still torch this weld it up and it's long enough to really support it so that's just kind of how I decided to do that when I built the, the blocks I used that bit and that is an 11 64th which is 170 thousandths diameter the reason why I did that is because I used a number six screw that's 140 thousandths diameter that leaves me 30 thousandths play the reason why that's important is because the screw won't bind in the block okay when you go to screw this down, you don't want it to bind into the block. Otherwise, the threads start to go into the block itself and it wants to raise up. Okay. And that's just, all that does is create a big hassle. It's hard to hold down. Doing it this way means you don't have to have a clamp. And to put a block in the middle of a table, it's really hard to have a clamp. So if you leave it a little loose like that, you can hold it with your fingers and shoot it down. Underneath the block, I put a little chamfer there and that just screws onto the the drill bit they're available at any hardware store in the top I went pretty deep just because the screw was one in so I needed a little depth okay underneath the bottom I did this on the drill press too just a little bit and the reason why I did that is because as you screw it down the fibers in the plywood surface want to rise up and bind again which pushes the block up that's a problem because if you go to screw this down, um, you know, if it moves on you, you're not going to be accurate. That's all it is. And I just kind of sand them pretty smooth. No big deal. Don't spend too much time on it. Some people will spend a week making these. You should be able to make those in about an hour. That's about it.